Sometimes we receive the same data from two different sources. And what we want to do is compare the two lists to see where they are different. And um, most of the time when we do that, I mean, uh, it involves a lot of manual work and oftentimes it's not, you know, as accurate and time efficient as we would like it to be. So in this video, I'm going to be teaching you the best way to compare two lists, both using conditional formatting and using Power Query. Once we finish our design, the final product will look something like this. And uh, we have two methods, uh, you know, to compare the two lists that we have. And uh, the first method is using conditional formatting and the other method is using Power Query. Now, when using conditional formatting, as you can see here, any number in list one that is highlighted in red, this means that the number exists only in list one and it does not exist in list two. And the same goes for list two. Using Power Query though, um, Power Query is not going to highlight the numbers, it's going to isolate those numbers that only exist in list one. And the same goes for list two in another table here. Okay, so let's test the uh, final product. So this number here, uh, 6000, uh, it's also available in list two. And this is why it's not highlighted. But if we change it to say 25, for example, you can see that 25 gets highlighted in red, meaning that uh, it only exists in list one. And also the number that we have deleted now, it gets highlighted in yellow in list two, indicating that now it only exists in list two. And the same goes for Power Query. If we hit refresh here, it was going to give us 25, which is the newly highlighted, you know, uh, number. OK, so let's uh, see how we can uh, do this from scratch. So first, we're going to compare the two lists using conditional formatting. But first, we need to prepare the list for that. OK, so for list one, we click anywhere in list one and we go to home and we format the list as table and uh, just select the color that you like and uh, ensure that uh, my table has headers is selected and click OK. Now the table or the range is formatted as a table. The only thing left is to name it through table design. You name the table list one. OK, and you hit the tab and uh, to confirm that or enter the same we do for list two. So we format it as a table here and we change the name to list two. Now what is left is to remove the banded rows from both lists. And to do that, you click on list one anywhere. You go to table design, you deselect banded rows and you do the same for list two. OK, once that is done, we are ready to uh, do our uh, conditional formatting. So let me explain the rationale behind, you know, uh, the conditional formatting. So I'm going to add a row here, uh, sorry, a column, just to keep the separation between the lists. So now what we're after is to highlight any number that exists in list one, but do not exist in list two. So for each number, we're going to compare, um, you know, with list two. And if it's available, we don't highlight it. If it's not available, we highlight it. So we're going to use the function called match. And I'm going to do it here before I move to conditional formatting. So you can visualize, you know, the idea behind it. So we're going to use the function match. And the function match is going to ask us for a lookup value. And this is the uh, lookup value. And then it's going to ask us for and I'm going to go up here in the formula part so things are clearer and uh, it's going to ask for the lookup array. We need to select less two. So this is where we're going to look up our number. OK, and then um, the last thing is uh, so we need the match to be exact. So we're going to select zero and this is it. And once you can see here, these are the numbers that actually match or are available in less two. And this is the position of where, you know, uh, they are in less two, starting with this cell as one and then two and three. 
So this is how um, you know this number is interpreted. Okay, and when you see in A not available, uh, this means that this number does not exist in list two. So this is um, the rationale behind it. So we're going to construct a function within conditional formatting. Whenever the result is in A, we're going to highlight the cell. So let's see how we can do that. The first thing in conditional formatting is to select the whole list that you would like to highlight conditionally and then go to home and then select conditional formatting, then go to new rule. And from here, you select the last um, selection, which is the user formula. And as you can see here, uh, format values or cells basically where this formula is true. So the formula that we're going to put here, if the result of the formula is true, the cells that are selected here is going to be highlighted. So uh, as we've seen with the match function, uh, we would like to highlight the errors. So basically, whenever we have an error, we would like the cell to be highlighted. And this is why we're going to use the logical formula is error is error for what function for the match so if the match function is an error we need to highlight the cells basically so the match is going to ask us for the uh, lookup value the lookup value is b5 as uh, you know the beginning of these uh, list but we would like to use you know a relative reference so it gets applied to the whole list so b5 as a lookup value the lookup array is list 2 but we cannot just write list 2 here it's going to give us an error and uh, we need to put list 2 inside the indirect function so uh, excel can understand it so we're going to use indirect function so between a quotation mark is going to put you know list 2 and uh, square brackets list 2 which is the column name and we uh, complete the indirect function and the match type we want it to be you know exact match this is why we put zero as we've seen before okay so if this function result is true then the cells will be highlighted which means that whenever the match function returns an error the cells will be highlighted but highlighted with what this is what you need to define here so we go to format and we go to fill and then we select this color for the fill and we go to font select bold and select the color to be this one and we hit ok and we hit another ok okay we're missing a parenthesis there yeah for the uh, is error function which is uh, no problem we can just add it and once we hit enter you know or okay uh, the cells uh, for you know the numbers that do not exist in list 2 gets highlighted now we're going to do the same for list 2 and uh, so uh, the same goes like this we're just going to change you know where the lookup value is and where uh, the lookup array is so we select new rule again with a formula and we um, use as error and we use the match function hopefully this time we don't make an error um, d5 uh, basically d5 uh, as a relative reference and then the indirect function and uh, within quotation mark we write list one square brackets list one for the column same goes like this and the match type is going to be zero and this is uh, the match function and then the other you know bracket for the is error and now we're going to select the format to be applied which is going to be this blue maybe and uh, we're going to select bold again and uh, we select this color and as you can see here only those numbers that exist in list two are highlighted with Power Query, I mean, even if you haven't heard about the name and you don't know what Power Query is, I mean, you can follow the instructions and you arrive at the same result as I have. All right. So the first thing we need to do with the Power Query uh, is to select the uh, list one. And then we go to Data tab here and uh, we click on From Table or Range. And this will send the table to Power Query. Now, uh, we're not going to click on close and load, we're going to go to close and load two. And when we click on that, what we're going to do, we're going to just create a connection now. We're not going to load the data and we hit OK. 
And as you can see here, now we have a query called list one, which is connected to, you know, list one table here. And when you hover over, uh, over it, you get, you know, a glimpse of what the list is. We do the same thing for list two. Now also list two has to be loaded, uh, but without loading the data, just, you know, creating connection. So we click on create a only create a connection. We have okay. So we have both of the queries now listed um, as a connection only. And uh, so we go back uh, using data here and we get to get data and then we go to launch power query editor. To, so to find or to create a table that contains only the numbers or the cells that uh, are you know available in list one but do not exist in list two, we're gonna do the following. We're gonna merge both of these you know lists, but we're gonna keep only you know the list that uh, you know uh, the numbers that are in list one and not in list two. So to do that, click on list one because this is the starting comparison. And we go to merge queries and uh, we click on merge queries as new. And when we do that, it's going to ask us for the first table and then the second table here or the second list and uh, which is list two. So we're going to compare list one with list two. We need to select the columns. And once we select the columns now, as you can see here, it says at the bottom, the selection matches 17 of 21 rows from the first table. Now this is with the join kind being the left outer. Now we're going to change that and it's self explanatory if you go to the bottom here. So the left ante is what we would like to have, uh, which is uh, rows only in first. So we're going to select only the rows that are in the first table, which is list one. When we click on that, at the bottom it says the selection excludes 17 of the cells, uh, which are, you know, the total cells are 21 from the first table. Okay, and when we click on this, what we're gonna get, we're gonna get a list of only those values that exist in list one and do not exist in list two. And uh, we're gonna change and we're gonna say here in list one, only or only in list one, whatever I mean, name you, you feel comfortable with. And this list, we're gonna load it now because we would like to have it handy. And we, we click again on uh, load two because we would like it to be in an existing worksheet. And we're gonna put this list here. And once we hit OK, and it's a table, by the way, and as you can see here now, so these are the numbers that only exist in list one. And you can see it matches, you know, list one here. We're going to do the same for, you know, list two. So we just go here to open Power Query Editor. Now we're going to merge the cells, but uh, now we're going to start with list two instead. And uh, so we click on list two. We go to Merge Queries. We select Merge Queries as new. We select the other table, list one and we select both columns here and it says the selection matches because the left outer we select it again and the left ante which is the rows only in first and first now is you know list two as you can see above when we hit it we see a selection excludes 17 which is what we want and as you can see here the list now contains only those numbers that exist in list two and do not exist in list one so we say in list two on day and we hit enter and we go to uh, close and load to and uh, we're doing that because we don't want to go to a new sheet when we say you know existing sheet and we click here and we just have it you know in the same place here so as you can see here now the list uh, two only uh, matches you know the highlighted numbers that we got from conditional formatting so this was uh, what I believe the best way to compare two lists. I hope you guys enjoyed it and found it useful. And thank you so much for watching and see you next video. Thank you.